flexionizing, okay? This is flexionizing by grouping. How do we see that is a flexionizing by grouping? Because it has four terms, one, two, three, and four. So since it has four terms, we know that it is by grouping, okay? Now we have to group. How do we group? Number one, we'll have eight a b minus 12 a squared b. And then we have grouped this one. And then there's a plus in between. Then we insert this one, which is negative 20b squared plus 30ab squared. Okay, now we have grouped. Okay, now since we have grouped, we must take out what we call a common factor. Okay, so our common factor is always our highest common factor. Okay, so our highest common factor for 12 and 8 is 4. So that means we have 4. Okay, then we have a common factor. We have A here, we have A here. Okay, that means we take one A outside. We have B here, we have B here. Then we take B outside. Okay, now what is left inside if I take this as my common factor? Remember, we are going to say 8 divided by 4 which will give us 2. A divided by A would give us 1. B divided by B will give us 1. Okay? Then we subtract. 12 divided by 4, that will give us 3. Okay? A squared divided by A, that will give us A. Okay? B divided by B will give us 1. So this is what you are having. Plus. Okay? Now, let's check out our common factor. Remember, this can't be negative. So since it can't be negative, let's check out a negative as a common factor. So we have negative. Then, uh, what is our highest common factor for 20 and 80? That will be 10, okay? So we have 10 outside, okay? Then we have b squared and we have b squared. So let's check out b squared as a common factor, okay? Then that means here, I'm left with what? If I take out a negative, remember negative divided by negative is positive, okay? So, 20 divided by 10 would give us 2, okay? Then b squared divided by b squared will give us 1. Then we have 30 divided by 10. You remember, in the positive divided by negative would give us a negative, okay? Now we have 30 divided by 10. 30 divided by 10 will give us a 3, okay? Then we have uh, b squared divided by b squared will give us an a. So this is what we are having in great terms, okay? Now we have these brackets and these brackets which are similar and it's our common factor. So we take it out. So we have 2 minus 3a, okay? Then what are we left? If I take this out, I'm left with this, which is 4ab, okay? If I take this out, I'm left with minus 10b squared. So this is how we have factorized by grouping great tens.